The new vestments. They are lived in Oldman in the kingdom of Tess, who invented a purely original dress. And when it was perfectly made and complete, he opened the door and walked into the street. By way of a hat, he loved a brown red, in the middle of which he inserted his head. His shirt was made of of no and of that mice. The worn of whose skins was quite fluffy and nice. His drawers were of ribbon skin, so were his shoes. His stockings were skins, but it's not non hoos. His waistcoat and trousers were made of horse shots. His buttons were jujube and chocolate drops. His coat was all pancakes to stand for a border, and a biscuit of girdle to keep it in order. And he wore over a escaskoon from bed weather, a cloak of green cabbage leaves stitched all together. Hmm. He had walked a short way when he heard a great, great noise. noise. In all sorts of vesticles, birdlings, and boys. And from every long street and duckling in the town, beast birdies and boys in the top of grass town. Two cows in the cough ate, ate his cabbage leaf cloak. Four eggs teaser birdo, which vanished like smoke. Three kids ate half of his pancake coat. The tails were devoured by an ancient he goat. An army of dogs in the twinkling door of his horn waistcoat and trotter to give to the puppy. And while they were growing and mumbling in the drops, ten boys picked the jujus and chocolate drops. He tried to run to his house, but in vain, for scores of fat pigs came again and again. They rushed out of stables and hovels and doors, and tore his stockings, his shoes, and his drawers. And now from the house up with Christian thieves said, Straight fun, white, black, and gray cats without end. They jump on his shoulder and knock off his hat. When crowds stuck their hands, made a mince me of that. They speedily flew at his lips in a prize, and utterly tore his shirt of dead mice. They swallowed the left at his shirt with a squall, whereon he ran home on no glass on at all. As he said to himself as he bolted the door, I will not wear 